Coming home. It, it's like uh, <laughs> uh, a haven for us. It's like you, we have peace in here. And you can see the improvement when you come in, how beautiful that this village is becoming. We got through the hurricane okay. The next day the flood came in. And you couldn't see anything. It was all water all around. The water got up so high that they knew we were going to have to evacuate. It's my pleasure to welcome everyone here this morning and uh, celebrate with us. We have uh, kind of labeled this a returning home celebration. <laughs> We couldn't have done a lot of what we've done uh, without the support of our donors and uh, they obviously saw the cause, the need, uh, and stepped forward and helped uh, make all this happen. Really our donors make as big a difference in the lives of our residents as we do on a daily basis through their generosity, through their commitment to the Lord, and so I want to say thank you to our donors because they truly, truly helped us make a difference in these folks' lives. What I hope people take away from this event is that they're truly cared about, that there are many people that they don't even know that care about them and were concerned for their welfare, their health. Good Samaritan really was a lifesaver. I mean, they they put me up for in this really nice apartment for 11 months, no, no rent, no electricity, no phone bills, everything, so I could save my money to replenish this. And this is like a brand new place. We are so excited. Everything is new, everything is nice. And then on top of that, then the foundation uh, also gave me a check, which I really appreciated. That was unexpected and a real blessing. I have nothing but praise for Good Samaritan. They gave us shelter and food and hope. The biggest thing was hope. Knowing that I was living with you guys, I knew I was going to be okay. I shall always be grateful for Good Samaritan Village because I'm living where I want to be. I, I just can't thank them enough. <laughs>